In this episode, I show you a high street. I point at a statue. I show you a large erection. Just on my way out to St Ives to meet a friend of mine, but um, I'm also going to introduce you to a very interesting character. Uh, people are always saying about, you know, be the change you want to see in the world and you can change the world. I'm going to show you a guy who actually did change the world for everybody. It's a little market town in Cambridgeshire. Pretty cool, I think you'll agree. That's it. There's Ollie down the back there. Right, this is St Ives. Got a big church over there. This church structure, the shape of it, you see a lot of these in East Anglia. It must have been like a job lot. They bought the lot in one go, you know. But interestingly, who's this guy over here? This guy is Oliver Cromwell. And he was uh, the man who changed the way we all live today. Because he separated church and state. He started the process of separating church and state by locking off the head of Charles the First. There he is, Oliver, uh, first British dictator, and um, yeah, he was quite a character. Where's he from? It's from this town. It was born just around the corner. Yeah. He also lived in Huntington. This is Oliver Cromwell, dictator, creator of the Republic of Great Britain, founder of freedom that you know today. Separation of church and state. This guy started it all. And he was only 59 when he died, we just realized, which is not very old for someone to, you know, he's like, he's took over a whole country, he's changed the world, and he's like 59 years of age. That's someone who you can honestly say changed the world. Instead of all this nonsense that you see on the interweb. This is the Cromwell Museum in Huntingdon, right here. It's the opening times there. Okay, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe. See you next time, bye now.